Hi, and today I will talk about how to design a database with Oracle Sequence and using the database visual architect. And first of all, this this to this video will separate into two parts. One is talk about how to design the sequence. I will talk about how to create the sequence and use the sequence. Let me just show you the tools. Here is the database visual architect. You see I have one table here called customer. What I want to do is I want to change the customer ID, be the primary key, and also set the sequence to it. Before I do that, I need to create a sequence. Okay, I can go to the toolbar, click on the sequence here, and I can click on the sequence, and I give the name, the sequence name is a customer ID. And I can add some property to the sequence. I can add the attribute, say for example, S type. It is integer. And I can add other properties. I can add this is the mean value is a uh, one thousand, and I can also add one more say the max the max don't set the increment by one, something like that. And also you can also go to the open specifications to set this value instead add one by one. For so example, um, it is the the max value is um, twenty thousand something like that. And okay, okay, now you see it is expanded to. So the customer ID. Okay, after create a sequence, I will apply the sequence. I can go to the customer here, and I can right click the customer ID, open the specifications, and I can select. <coughs> first of all, I take it to the primary key, and the ID generator. I can select the sequence here, <coughs> and after select sequence, I will. I can select the customer ID I just created. I select this one and OK and now this customer ID become the primary key and also use this sequence as the primary key ID generator <coughs> okay after talk about the sequence I would like to uh, talk about the just a moment After talk about the create and use the sequence, I will talk about how to organize the sequence. I will organize the sequence with model and then how to visualize the relationship between the sequence. Okay, let's come back to the tools. And here uh, is a basic diagram, but in the in a re uh, reality, you may have a lot of sequence. Then you make it very difficult to organize. Then we can create a model here. I create a new model say this is a sequence a model is just like a, a package and I can go to the model and I can create the entity relationship diagram and this is a sequence entity relationship diagram just create sequence I create say this is the order ID I can create other sequence say this is a uh, staff ID you can create as many as you want and you see it is under the sequence model so we will not mix up with other sequence I, I can also drag this one to under the sequence then I can have one model one folder you can imagine to, to store all the sequence here and let me just come back to the general diagram I can create a new uh, diagram say I create a new uh, entity relationship diagram and I can draw my diagram say this is the order and order has a lot of order line and order also linked with a, a staff something like that <coughs> you can draw many many entity relationship diagram to show the entity and also you can apply the similar stuff for example I have here is an order line order ID and the order ID I can put into the sequence I can put it as primary key and set it is a sequence and use the order ID here something like that so and the point is I use a lot of ID and also entity how can I visualize the relationship between the entity and the ID in this part you can create another 
model say I create another model so this is an entity sequence diagram something like that <coughs> and then I can create the entity relationship diagram here and I can drag out for example I drag out the order here and I drag out the order ID here and I can relay them say I can draw a generic connector here to show this order use this order ID this is the relationship between the order and also the order ID so you can have this similar presentation have a diagram to show the relationship and the main point is if you come back to here you change the things here it will also update in this one let me just come back to here say I add another uh, column say this is a, um, say date or the date and put the date and cancel and then I come back you will see the, the, the column also appear here so it is consistent with other diagram and thank you for viewing this video.